morning foodies uh, today I am making uh, Indian style tea so so this uh, is Indian chai Indian chai and not chai tea not chai tea not chai tea the latte. same thing you know it's not that this is Indian masala tea that is what it is right so folks uh, you know growing up uh, the most important thing uh, you know in an Indian family would be to start off the day with a chai, chai or Indian masala tea, whatever that you want to call it. And every household makes it differently. You know, you may, you may put some different spices in there to your flavors. I don't know what, what all your settings are. Some people put like black pepper, some cloves and, and uh, you know, cardamom. And there are a whole bunch of different kind of teas. Up all the way in the north, you know, you have the Kashmiri pink tea, which is actually, you know, uh, which you add like a little bit butter to. So it all depends, right? You know, so what all different kind of teas that you have. So today I am going to make my tea. So you way, have uh, water boiling? Yes, okay. I do. I do have some water, you know, boiling over here. Uh, so I, I will go ahead and I do fresh ginger okay okay and, and you can then, get that any store right? and any store that you can get to go to any grocery stores you can go and you know you're gonna make this and i'm just gonna gonna you know uh, grind this in in here so just go just go like this according to your flavors and your taste i usually like a nice ginger tea you know so the ginger flavor should be a little bit dominant So I keep on, you know, scrubbing this and just add like, you know, a lot of good flavors in this. Uh, you know, this is definitely good, especially of on a very cold. you can grate it and put it. Yeah, you can grate you it. And, yeah, exactly. So this is what I'm doing over here, which is grating it, you know, uh, but, you know, you can put slices, you know, whatever, however you want to, you, you, you feel comfortable that, you know, nowadays they also have like, you know, those uh, concentrated ginger drops, you know, that you get in uh, at Sprouts or, or Publix. I would avoid or, it, but yes, Yeah, no. you know, but yeah, you know, fresh ginger is always always good so over here i do have some cardamom the best thing to do with the cardamom when you are when you are uh grinding this right you always need to add a little bit of sugar so that you actually have that consistency and it actually comes out like a powder otherwise you will have like you know a bunch of pieces in there so in this one i do have a little bit of pieces i didn't i didn't really really grind it like to that because that, that is the way i like it right so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to add like a little bit of, I got the cardamom going and then there are all different kind of teas, right? Like, you know, that you, that you get in out in the market. This is a plain, uh, tea. This is loose leaf teas. Okay. This is how you get it. This is Asami chai. And, uh, and we saw this in sprouts too. Yes. And, so they have masala tea in sprouts, but you know, don't use that if you're adding the other masalas. And then, you know, again, this is how strong you want to you wanna do it. So I'm making about like three cups of tea over here. So, so how um, coffee has the beans. Right. We so, have this. Yeah, yes, exactly. So these are, this is how this is grounded already. And this is how it comes. Okay. And there you go. So I'm just adding that in uh, as to how much, how much tea uh, that I need to make based on that. So usually one cup, one tablespoon of... Uh, of the the chai that you use it's loose leaf uh, for one cup of uh, tea and then you know you would say like you know uh, just a pinch of uh, cardamom and the ginger is going to be according to your own taste uh one thing that uh, that we do add like you know if you want to add like you know you can add like a little bit of cloves you can add uh you know uh make your own masala like that all depends on you right uh can Annie, can you pass me my sugar You're right. So let this boil a little bit and I want that all that flavor to come in, you know, from- So uh, this is the brewing of Indian tea. You need to let it brew. 
you know, you cannot just put a tea bag in hot water and, you know, you, you can, you, that's not how you make an Indian chai. That is not. Uh, Indian chai needs to boil. It needs to get all the flavors in. Let, let that, let that, all the, all the new ingredients that you uh, inserted, you, you got this uh, ginger, you got the cardamom. You want to let all that, all that flavors come in uh, into this whole tea, right? So now I'm going to add my sugar. Again, if you like it or not, you know, it's up to you how much sugar you want to put. Or you cannot put. Or you cannot put. Yeah. And we'll have a special friend here who will be having our tea. She loves our tea. And we have her here today. There you go. So we put lactose free milk. Um, but you guys can put whatever milk you have. I've right. never tried it with almond milk. But don't don't try this with almond milk, guys. Uh, maybe you, maybe oatmeal milk, like uh, uh, for still, people who are I, vegan, I, right? Yeah, I still wouldn't recommend. No, but for people who are vegan, they can use oatmeal. Again, I you know uh, the chai making it like you know in that distinct flavor, then it's not a chai. This is how you make a traditional chai. That's what I would I would say. And uh, usually you will have like you know. A lot of uh, some people make uh, make complete milk tea, meaning the quantity of the milk is more than the quantity of the water. So that's how usually a lot of people uh, like it as well. I don't like it too milky, right? Uh, you know, I don't do so well with milk. But you know, I make it with some water and get to incorporate all those flavors in there with all, all the ingredients that I've just put in there, and then you know let it, let it add some milk at the end. And now do the flavor, do do the let the magic happen. Now, one thing that you have to remember, you know, if you're gonna put a lot of ginger, you have to be very, very uh, careful because that can that can uh, curdle your milk, you know, because uh, of the acidity in the in the ginger, you know, that can actually break down your milk. You know, so so you want to be a little bit careful with that as well. You I know, like you your to, apron. Oh, thank you, Annie, uh, and thank you for bringing this apron for me for sure. <laughs> you know. All right, so we just have to wait. It's a weight gain. Yes, it is. It's definitely a weight gain, and you know, uh, I, I'm gonna let it boil. Like you know, once it once it comes to a boil, till the time you can focus on this, I'm gonna get the get the tea stuff going on. Yeah, you yeah. do that, and you know, uh, we will be back after he gets his glasses and everything done. So guys, now my tea has come to a full boil and I just keep on, you know, getting it a little bit more boiling over here. Like you can see, this is how the tea should be. And tea should always be, I mean, you know, traditionally they always drink it hot, you know. But, you know, you yes, you can cool it down, you can add ice to it, but again, what? it does not, no, it does <laughs> I would not, not add ice to it. I wouldn't either, <laughs> I wouldn't either. But yeah, some people want to want to do it, yeah, why not, you know, be my... Be my guest and you know that's it and this is how you make make a tea and i am going to start to pour this uh give me uh give me a give me a bit uh, i'll go so, all right our tea is ready and so this is how you traditionally get the tea back in india on the street which is uh, comes in this kettle and it actually comes with uh, you know this kind of a setting with these small glasses these are called cutting glasses right cutting so this is called cutting chai and we are doing cutting glasses. So you just pour this in, hot tea, you see that? Yum, smells good. And I'm gonna we are gonna introduce our friend in just a minute. Okay. By the way guys, it's early morning Sunday. So hey, here's our friend April. Hey. <laughs> she happened to be around, so we're like, hey, do you want to taste our tea? <laughs> yes, I do, and she loves our tea, right? You love loved it. So, yeah. April, would you would you take a, a, a glass and tell us uh, what do you think about sure. the tea? Sure. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. I love it. Yeah, I you... do. I do love it. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. I think we should just end our video here. Yes. <laughs> guys, guys, have a happy Sunday, yeah. happy weekend, and uh, you know. Let us know if you've made this kind of tea, and if you have a certain family recipe of um, the favorite tea that you make. 
by the way guys i'll be making kashmiri chai uh next week so stay tuned for that video